Hello YouTube, this is the last, this is the part 7, so I'm going to show you my setting with Sony Vegas, but firstly I want to tell you, it's not a tutorial about Sony Vegas, okay, I just want to show you my setting, so open Sony Vegas, here, this is the box which you, where you select uh, your project property, so click on, uh, this is my project property. Uh, I have selected, uh, for, for example, uh, this profile, uh, but it's not important because we can uh, absolutely uh, set uh, what, what we want. So select this one, for example. So here, this is the size of my video. So remember, I have made it in HD with uh, virtual dub. Here, you select progressive scan, square pixel. Here, you select your frame rate, so remember, if you uh, record your video from uh, PS3, for example, in uh, PAL uh, area, select 25, or if you are on Xbox and you use uh, PAL 60, or uh, if you live in America, for example, uh, use the NTSC format, or the same format for PAL uh, 60. So for me, I'm on PS3, I live in France, so I use PAL version. Here select Hide Byte, here Optimized, Gaussian, Non, and select this box. After Audio, and the other, really nothing special. So, go on Folders, Import Video, so I selected, I select the last video that I have uploaded on YouTube. Open. So as you can see, <laughs> drop the video to the timeline area. Select your uh, area render. For me, I selected whole. Okay, now I'm going to show you my setting render. So go on folder. Render has, and here select uh, a name, of course, uh, we not care. And here select video for Windows, point heavy eye. Here select a model, or oh, it's not important because you can rename your model. For me, I use a preset. <laughs> and go here to personalize your setting. So go and personalize. So, of course, the video, use the same that the project, so this is the HD format, of course, your, uh, your frame rate, keep the same, progressive video, square pixel, and here, again, like my uh, other tutorial, select the codec, and config. So this is exactly the same setting that I'm go that, that I have showing you uh, with virtual dub. Select profiles, HD, select this box, quality at max, one pass, and this bitrate for the codec, exactly the same. Multi-threading, video, square pixel, do not change the dimension. Uh, noise reduction, no. Progressive scan, and the last, maskage. And e block selection. Okay. Now, audio, I use this setting. EC3 codec, Th this is the bitrate. And the last, optimized, and nothing special here and for render, just render the video. Uh, this is the end of my tutorial. I know uh, those videos are not very simple, but trust me, uh, more and more you use uh, virtual dub, and it will be uh, as easy as words, for example. Um, uh, don't be afraid to use this software, it is very, very good software and uh, you can obtain a video very near the HD quality. Of course, it's not uh, HD PVR and EasyCat, it's not the same price, but as you can see uh, in my last video, the quality is very good for an EasyCat.
So I just want to thank you for watching. And you, uh, if you have not watched the, the other tutorial, you can watch it. Trust me, it is very good. And hope that everybody enjoy. And you don't stop.